Blockchain is by far one of the most promising industries for developers in 2022. It's one of the highest paying fields in tech with an average salary of $154,000 per year. The demand is absolutely insane. But if you want to land one of these jobs, then you need the skills to pay the bills. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the top five highest paying jobs for blockchain developers and break down what the skills are so that you can land one of these jobs and talk about how you can learn those skills. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So a quick background about me if you're new around here. You know, I'm a self-taught programmer. I didn't go to school for computer science. I got rejected from coding boot camp and I taught myself from scratch all the way to a senior level and beyond. And I've helped thousands of people learn real world blockchain skills, you know, from square one. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so like I was saying at the top of this video, you know, blockchain is one of the highest paying skills in tech. You can see here that it has a national uh, average salary of $154,000 per year inside the United States, okay? It might vary depending on where you live. might vary from website to website, but if you compare blockchain to other fields on the same websites like mobile developer, uh, which is an average salary of $75,000 per year, or excuse me, this is web developer, uh, or mobile developer, which is $105,000 per year, then blockchain is twice as lucrative as web development and 50% more lucrative, roughly speaking, than mobile development. So the point here is that blockchain is one of the highest paying fields in tech. And when you're looking at this average salary, sometimes this falls into multiple different skills. And so I want to break this particular field down and talk about what are some of the highest paying skills within this entire niche itself and what you need to know in order to get one of those jobs and how to learn it. All right, so now let's jump into the highest paid jobs. I'm not going to rank these in terms of like what the exact number one is. So number one is just going to be the one that I think is most in demand which is solidity development, okay? So I'm going to talk about what you need to know in order to do that, but let's just do a quick sampling of real solidity developer job posts. So I just got on indeed.com, you know, uh, typed in solidity developer, clicked remote, and here's the results right here. So I'm not going to like go through and cherry pick a bunch of stuff. I'm just going to like pick through some of the first ones and look at realistic, uh, you know, jobs that are out there and what they pay and what they require. So uh, Solidity Developer, this is fully remote, uh, $75,000 to $144,000 a year. So let's just say you're kind of somewhere in between. This could easily be a six-figure job. How much is experience does this require? Because people are going to say, hey, you know, $154,000 average salary, but you need experience to get to that level. Um, so this is only asking for one year of uh, Solidity experience. Now, I'll give you a hint. Every time a job says, you know, it, it requires X amount of experience, that can be negotiable for someone who really has good skills. I'm not just telling you that as just, you know, from anecdotal evidence and watching other people do this. I'm saying that because I've been on every side of the problem. I've been a freelancer. I've been a regular developer who's trying to get a job. And now I hire developers, okay? And so, you know, I have a certain amount of criteria that I want in finding somebody, but all those things are nego negotiable if they're the right candidate for the job. And so you could very well, you know, have something like this uh, with less experience if you were uh, able to do that. So we'll talk about how to learn the skills later in this video. So next is going to be a smart contract developer for Solidity. Okay, this is a hundred to $200,000 a year. So let's say you're in the middle of that. That's right in the middle of the average. So this is asking for, um, it just says experience, someone with experience. It doesn't say how much experience. So this could be negotiable. All right. And then the last one here is a uh, senior Solidity developer, $200,000 to $300,000 a year. So this is for somebody with uh, three years of Solidity experience and seven years of professional developing. So this is somebody for five years of experience, okay? But specifically down here, it says only needs three years of Solidity experience. And again, that's even probably negotiable because Solidity is not that old of a language. And if you're really good and provide value, you can very likely do this job without that amount of experience. All right, so let's talk about what you need to know in order to do one of these jobs. So you definitely need to learn Solidity. So this is a primary language, um, you know, for writing smart contracts, primarily for the Ethereum blockchain, but then you can deploy this to any, you know, uh, Solidity environment, so EVM compatible environment, like you know, Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain, any Ethereum layer two. There's a massive growing ecosystem of EVM compatible chains. 
and uh, many of them work about the same if you're writing Solidity, okay? So you want your core skill set to be that, and you're going to be creating smart contracts. So you want to be able to create smart contracts and understand the intricacies of doing that. So like how to, you need to master the programming language, okay? You need to understand things like optimizing uh, for gas, understand security pitfalls whenever you're writing smart contracts. You want to be able to really write good tests for smart contracts. You'll probably need an additional programming language that allow you to do that. Some people write tests in Solidity, but vast majority of people do it in either JavaScript or Python. And then you're going to increase your higher ability if you can, you know, write other apps that actually talk to smart contracts, whether it's front end websites, so you can just create some sort of interface to interact with the smart contract, or maybe some sort of back end application that can do that, or just some scripts in general, that'll let you, you know, demonstrate the behavior of smart contract and provide some value in a way that you couldn't just do it by like, you know, clicking buttons on remix or something like that. And so what kind of tasks would you be building? Or maybe what kind of apps would you be building? So primarily, people are building a lot of things around decentralized finance or DeFi. So definitely understanding how cryptocurrencies work, ERC20 tokens, how like DeFi applications work with like liquidity pools, any financial instrument that's trying to be built uh, with solidity on the blockchain, how DAOs work, how NFTs work. There's a ton of people trying to build NFT marketplaces, NFT products, do other things with NFT beyond digital collectibles. And so understanding the current set of use cases for smart contracts is really going to increase your value uh, when you're trying to get one of those jobs too, because that's probably what you're going to be doing. All right, so the next highest paying job on this list, again, it's not in any particular order, it's just one of these high paying jobs, is the blockchain protocol engineer or core developer, okay? So I'm going to put those terms together because they mean slightly different things, but I want to clarify like what they mean. So uh, mostly, like we're talking about Solidity smart contracts, you're going to be developing the programs that run on the blockchain themselves. But if you're a core developer or protocol developer, you're going to be developing, you know, uh, in many cases, like system processes that talk to blockchains or maybe even the software that runs blockchains themselves, okay, like the actual blockchain clients, as opposed to like smart contracts. Now, you might have to do some stuff with smart contracts, but your focus is going to be on these things. So let me give you some examples because this can be tricky. Whenever you talk about a protocol developer, that could mean somebody who builds a DeFi protocol on top of, you know, uh, a blockchain out of Solidity, right? You can just put it on blockchain and that's your protocol. But I'm going to put that under the Solidity developer umbrella. And as a different protocol, really as a blockchain core developer, uh, you might be talking about uh, protocols like cross-chain bridges, for example. These rely on some sort of client in the middle that talks to different blockchains. You might have to you know, uh, create something that does that, or maybe something like uh, ThorChain, where you're doing cross-chain swaps between Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, or anything that is a client that actually runs blockchain architecture itself, like a node that's part of, you know, the Ethereum blockchain, et cetera, et cetera. That's the example of what I'm talking about here. So let's see, like, you know, some job postings on this and what you need to understand in order to do that. So uh, at no particular order, I'll just pull up some random ones here. So you can see here, this is one looking for uh, five plus years of experience in software development or relative, relevant, okay? So one thing you're going to notice about a lot of protocol developers is this is usually a harder thing to get into in terms of the learning curve. That's why most people who are beginners, I push them towards something like Solidity development or other types of blockchain development because uh, it's a relatively easy programming language to learn in the grand scheme of things. Uh, the un number of things you have to understand is smaller and this is, you know, in many cases a lot harder, it's more abstract, but it's still incredibly in demand and therefore pretty lucrative. So five plus years of experience in this. I'm gonna post one of the random job postings here. So zero knowledge cryptographer and protocol developer. Um, so basically what we need to know in order to do this, prior experience with cryptographic protocols, especially ZK Snarks, ZK Starks. Okay, they're not they're not specifically required. Prior experience in low level system programming, ideally with Rust. Okay, so Rust is a skill. We're actually gonna talk about Rust here in a minute, but I'm gonna keep this under the protocol developer uh and core developer section. Here's another one, protocol developer. Okay, so this is a DeFi protocol for simple capital efficient native cross-chain synthetic assets. So like I was talking before building sort of bridge in between blockchains that lets you move in between different blockchains, you'd be, you'd be working on that particular protocol here. So they do uh, stable coin collateral, capital efficiency, uh, native bridging, and multi-collateral support. Where basically it sounds like you could lock up cryptocurrency on one blockchain and then maybe borrow stable coins or other assets on the other chain um, against that collateral that you've locked up, okay? So what would you do? Basically, you need to understand... Um, General blockchain experiments with Ethereum test tools. So 
You're likely going to be writing uh, maybe some solidity in this case, but you're likely going to have to uh, ha- know whatever the you know coding languages they are to write the clients that actually interact with these different types of things. At least that's what I would learn if I wanted to get a job like this. All right, so now let's talk about the next high paying job inside of blockchain. So this is going to be a security auditor. So what does this person do? Well, they have an incredibly important job in this space because when you're putting programs in the blockchain, you know, Many times you're putting on a smart contract that whose code is not supposed to change. And so you really need to make sure it works properly before you actually go to the blockchain. And I know some smart contracts, people design them so that they can be upgradable and they can change later. But even then, a lot of times if you're building a DeFi application, for example, you might be custodying, you know, billions of dollars worth of cryptocurrency in that. So those need extensive checking before they actually go to those production environments. Okay. And so security auditors essentially check all that stuff before they, um, you know, do that. And a lot of times you want an independent third party security auditor to come in and check everything. And then they publish these findings out in the wild so people can trust the project. You don't just want the internal team who developed the project to, you know, test themselves. You want somebody else also check it. That's what security auditors do in many cases. There's some other use cases for them as well, but that's the primary thing. So uh, for that reason, you know, not that many people know how to do secure auditing well. And so let's look at, you know, what they can make. So I just pulled up one example here. You could probably find lots of others. So this is uh, for a blockchain security auditor for a salary of $150 an hour. Okay, so let's just split the difference and say you made $175 an hour. Again, this is a contract role, so this is not a full-time job, but let's just run some numbers. Uh, So say you made $175 an hour and they say they want you to work for 15 hours a week. Okay, times 15, that's not even very much. So 260 to 2,725, let's say you did it, let's say you earned that just 46 weeks out of the year. So that'd be $120,000 per year. So uh, honestly, you could probably earn a lot more than that if as a good security auditor. I would say if you go back to this like uh, blockchain developer salary here, good security auditors are going to be on the upper end of this into the multi six figure range because their job is so important and you really have to know what you're doing in order to do that. So if you want to learn security auditing, then what do you need to understand? Well, let's just talk about the one use case for auditing smart contracts. So um, there's others, but let's just stick with that primary use case. You first and foremost need to master the programming language and then also master what are the common pitfalls of the programming languages. Things like, you know, reentrancy attacks. You go study past, you know, uh, exploits or hacks that have happened on blockchain with smart contracts. Study with for, for what went wrong and then learn to recognize those patterns whenever you look at somebody else's smart contracts, okay? So you needed that deep understanding before you can do that. You can also do things like static analysis, help out with those types of tools to get you like started to kind of start seeing these things. Sometimes you can automate some of the, uh, uh, you know, auditing process to start to see some stuff that a computer can see faster than you, okay? Get all that out of the way. But then you want to ultimately learn to think about a bad guy and think about how can I hack this thing and then like, you know, get that money for myself. Now, you don't actually want to do that with other uh, protocols out there in the wild, right? But you want to think that way because that's going to make you a good security auditor. And then you can disclose the things that you found, you know, to the person. And sometimes you may not find anything critically severe. But those are the skills you want to develop if you're a really good security auditor. All right. So the next high paying blockchain job is going to be a Rust developer. Okay. So what would you do as a Rust developer? Um, well, as we saw in the previous example, uh, there are some core developers or client developers, um, protocol developers who use Rust in those particular clients. But one growing uh area of demand is to develop for the Solana ecosystem because they use Rust for their smart contracts. So that's going to be the primary skill there. So understanding how to create smart contracts for Lana, Solana, understanding the Solana ecosystem. So now I'll pause also say this, if you're a beginner and trying to figure out where to go, um, I'd say the financial upside for learning something like Solidity versus like Rust uh, is really similar. And it's a lot easier for beginners to learn Solidity than it is uh, Rust, in my opinion. Solidity is a much more beginner-friendly programming language, and Rust is more of a a low-level language. And also the ecosystem for uh, Solidity for blockchain development, it has a bigger developer community. The Rust uh, community for Solana development is a lot smaller. Now, there's a lot of Rust developers out there too, right? But I just want you to understand each of those things. So it's a caveat here. So um, Rust developer... Uh, what can you make? So this says 70 to $90 per hour is a full-time role. So just doing some quick math here. Let's split the difference. Let's go to 80 uh, hours, or sorry, $80 an hour, 40 hours a week for just 50 weeks out of the year. We'll just kind of round it. All right. 
that's going to put you at $160,000 per year. Um, that's what you need to know to do it. something like this. That's for two years of experience as a backend uh, or a blockchain developer or similar role. They just want somebody with some good experience, very knowledgeable about blockchain, uh, understands this stuff. Um, so basically experience with at least one of the following, Solidity, Rust, or C++. So if you had some background in Solidity and you want to change your Rust, you could probably do it for this job. They might train you, okay? They say Rust is an advantage, but it doesn't look like it's a requirement, Okay. Um, but probably a good knowledge of the Solana ecosystem is going to be uh, critical for this role too. All right, so the last uh, high-paying blockchain job that I want to talk about is kind of a catch-all, okay? And so that's actually a full-stack developer who works at a blockchain company where they build some sort of blockchain project, uh, or maybe specifically just a front-end developer who works the blockchain project, or even just a back-end developer who uh, works the blockchain project. So what would you do in this case? Well, you might be creating the user interface that talks to a, a, a blockchain project, okay? You might create some sort of backend that talks to a blockchain project, or maybe both if you're a full stack developer, okay? So you, if you're a front end developer, you definitely want to know some modern JavaScript frameworks like React, for example, all the relevant libraries inside there, HTML, CSS, understand all that stuff, okay? But then you want to master some sort of uh, library in JavaScript that lets you talk to the blockchain and the smart contracts themselves, like Web3.js or Ethers.js. And then on the back end, you know, some sort of tech stack, maybe it's Node.js, maybe it's something based in Python, and then an ability to communicate with blockchains themselves inside those applications to provide whatever value that the company needs to do that. You could just look at any of these job postings and figure out what they're looking for. So let's look at a couple. I'll just break it down by a couple few here. So I just pulled up, you know, blockchain um full stack developer to see what they get paid here so 100 to 170 thousand dollars per year full-time remote okay so basically um what will they be doing working with web applications to build uis for customers from scratch for this blockchain project okay um so they don't actually list the uh uh technologies that jeremy working with here uh we could probably find out on some other ones let's just look at like what a senior uh back-end engineer would be this is for node and typescript okay 140 to 200 thousand dollars per year okay building out node and typescript microservices maintaining scalable backends code unit testing all right um web3 js experience all right um lots of lots of different stuff here so let's look at uh uh, let's see here, uh, front-end developer for blockchain and NFT company. So this is a hundred to $150,000 per year. All right, they're hiring two people for this role. Okay. Um, basically they want front-end developers with five years of experience for that amount of salary, three JS or green stock one year required. Okay. So I have a lot of details beyond that, but it sounds like if you meet those criteria, even if you're probably willing to learn blockchain, you could probably get a job like this. Okay, so JavaScript, AWS, Node.js, or key parts of the stack, all that type of stuff. All right, so those are the five highest paying blockchain jobs um, for 2022 and beyond, all right? So that's a big list of what they are, how much they pay, and you know how you can, what the skills are required to perform each one of those jobs. So how can you learn these skills? Well, that's exactly what I try to help you do on this YouTube channel. You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. They're going to start you off with learning Solidity, which in my opinion is the best thing to learn if you want to go down any of these tracks, okay? Maybe not if you want to learn Rust, all right? But I would consider that, um, you know, let's put it this way. Solidity is going to be the best bang for your buck in terms of risk reward uh, when you're kind of trying to navigate the blockchain ecosystem. It's one of the best. Uh, you can do uh, way more with it, all right, compared to some of these other things you can employ to multiple blockchains. And if you learn Solidity, you can branch out into becoming a full stack developer that works with blockchain. You can branch out and become a back end developer, a security auditor, you know, any of this stuff. You want to build a DeFi protocol with Solidity, you can do that. And so you can start learning Solidity today uh, with those courses on my on my YouTube homepage. They're totally free to get started right now. Learn those core skills first and then branch out from there. So if you like those tutorials and you want to take the next step or, hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you how to, you know, cut through the entire learning curve, master blockchain step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. I've hired people myself who've gone through this training. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. All right, so that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.